I wanna show you what some of the top fitness studios get. When they start implementing different plays that we teach them, they start running those plays, it can be completely different. And what I wanna show you is how we make small little adjustments here can take you over to this other side. So this is where you are now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over to this side. This is your current situation. This is the future situation. Gym owners, today I'm gonna to show you how you can get 22 new members every single month without spending more on advertising. If you don't know me, my name is Tanner James and I oversee our coaching department here at Loud Rumor. When we get new members who come into the coaching program, we go through a short little exercise with them and that's what I'm gonna show you today. We show them how small little adjustments in your business can make a massive impact on your revenue. What I'm gonna show you is the average numbers most fitness studios are doing each month. When fitness studios come into our program, we see that most of them are getting about 75 leads per month. Now you may be a little bit higher or lower, this is just the average of what we see. To get these leads, they go out and they promote an offer, right? They say maybe it's a free week, it could be some other kind of paid offer, seven days for $7, but in most cases we see a free week. They come in, they get 75 leads per month. You go out, you promote an offer, let's say it's a free week. We get 75 leads come in. How many of those do we actually get booked into a class so that they can come in, test out your workout, and see if it'd be a good fit for them? On average, out of those 75, we see 40 of them get booked. Now with that, we go down and say, okay, cool, so we have 40 of those booked, how many of those actually show? And what we generally see on average with fitness studios before the coaching is we get about 15 of them to actually show up in the studio. Now those that showed up, the 15, how many of those actually closed into becoming a member at your studio with recurring revenue? What we generally see is anywhere from two to five. So in this instance, we're just gonna take five. You may be a little higher or a little lower. Overall, these are the numbers that we generally see when studios come into our program. So to recap, we got 75 leads and out of those 75 leads, we got five new members. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, that's not that bad. I wanna show you what some of the top fitness studios get. When they start implementing different plays that we teach them, they start running those plays, it can be completely different. What we often say is that small hinges swing big doors. And what I wanna show you is how we make small little adjustments here can take you over to this other side. So this is where you are now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over to this side. This is your current situation. This is the future situation. And we say, we're not gonna get any more leads. We're gonna keep it at 75. Here is where things get interesting. When you can implement the right plays in the business and you make the small little improvements in the business, we can actually take this book rate of 40 and increase it to 60. Now, how we do this is with two different strategies. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what they are at the end of this video. So make sure you keep watching. But now we have 60 people who booked their class. Now the question is, how do we increase this rate over here? We've looked at the industry leaders in the fitness studio world and what they are doing, they have two processes that they follow. If they do these two things, and I'll tell you what they are at the end of this video. If they do those two things, 75% of the booked leads actually show up. Now, 45 people showed up to class. And when we compare that over to this side, where you currently are, that's a 3x improvement, just that showed. Now we have 45 people who showed up to take advantage of their free week offer, and what we wanna do as a business is make sure that we can convert them into paying members. We want them to start paying on a monthly basis, right? So what you'll want to do is there's two strategies that you'll wanna implement, and I'll give you those in a second. If we implement those two things, again, what we see is close rates around 60%. So now we take it, from 45, we close 60% of those leads and we're at 27. And we can see that 27 is massively different compared to five or even two. Now you may be asking yourself, Tanner, that's awesome. How do I actually do this though? Because you make it sound so easy. Now I'll tell you this, it's not easy, but it's simple. Let me tell you what these things are. How do we get a higher book rate from the leads that we have? First, we're gonna wanna call quickly. We're gonna wanna call the leads within five minutes of them submitting their information. If you wait even two hours, now they've gone on, they've gone to the grocery store, they've been talking to friends, they may be at work. It's very possible that they already forgot about the offer that they submitted their information for two hours earlier, and that's just two hours. The second strategy that we recommend is to double call. So as soon as you call the lead, if you get their voicemail, you hang up and you call again. Oftentimes what happens is people, when they get a call from an unknown number, they automatically send it to voicemail. And I do the same thing. 
You probably do too. But what we do is when we call back, now that same number is calling you again. Now you think that there's something going on. It's like important. And what we see is on the second call, people oftentimes answer the phone. So call quickly. And if they don't answer, call back again. Now, the second part is how do we make sure that leads actually show up? There's two strategies here to make sure that leads show up at a high rate. The first one is gonna be booking on the phone with a credit card. So yes, it's a free class, but since we're reservation based, we wanna get a credit card when we're booking that class because now if that class is taken, one of your members cannot join that class. So what we do is we say, hey, it's just like booking a hotel or a hair appointment. They don't charge you, they just collect your info. Now, if you don't show up, what do they do? they charge you. The second part is right after we hang up the phone, we pull out our phones and we turn the camera on ourselves. So now I can look at myself like selfie mode and I'm gonna record a quick video and I'm just gonna introduce myself so that they can put a face to the name and tell them about their booked class, let them know if they have any questions to reach out to us and that we are here to help them hit their fitness goals. Again, what does this do? It ensures that we put a face to the name. Now you're not just a name who's working at a gym, but you're Tanner from Loud Rumor Fitness, which now makes it more personal and again, increases that show rate. The last part is how do we increase uh, your close rate to 60%. Your close rate is all about your sales process. How do we make sure that you have a solid sales process? And there's two main pieces to a sales process, a client intake form and a really good handoff, handback price presentation. The client intake is one of the easiest ways to get to the client's goals, their why, and the best part, it overcomes objections before the objections even come up from the client. If you want your very own client intake form, click the link below. We have a cheat sheet for you so that you can start implementing this in your studio right now. The second part that we're gonna wanna do is make sure that we have a really good handoff, hand back, and a price presentation. If we can master this, then the member feels heard, they understand that you are the studio that's gonna help them achieve their goals, and they won't have to think about it. They will just pick the option that you tell them because you are prescribing them what they need to ensure that they get really good results at your studio. Overall, you can see how the small incremental changes can make a massive impact on the new members that you get every single month and the amount of revenue and profit that you're gonna be bringing into your business. And in case you don't know, Loud Rumor works with hundreds of fitness studios and gyms across the world. If you're a gym owner and would like access to proven scripts, educational videos, and a powerful fitness studio community, be sure to click on the link below for a free strategy call. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos just like this one.